Hello everyone, another fun Bible quiz for you. How well do you know the parables of Jesus? 20 questions, 10 seconds each question. If you enjoy the quiz, hit the like button. Play with friends and family and share. And don't forget to drop your score in the comment section. Ready? Let's go and have fun. In the parable of the sower, what does the seed represent? A, the word of God, B, the Holy Spirit, C, the church, or D, the disciples? A, the word of God. In the parable of the talents, how many talents did the master give to the servant who received the most? A, 10, B, 2, C, 5, or D, 1? C, 5. In the parable of the prodigal son, who does the father represent? A, God, B, a judge, C, Abraham, or D, a leader? A, God. In the parable of the wheat and the weeds, who sowed the weeds among the wheat? A, the devil, B, a thief, C, a rival farmer, or D, an enemy. D, an enemy. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who were the two men who passed by the wounded man before the Samaritan helped him? A, the priest and physician, B, Pharisee and Sadducees, or C, Sadducees and tax collector, or D, the Levite and the priest. D, the Levite and the priest. In the parable of the lost sheep, how many sheep did the shepherd have to leave behind to go look for the lost? A, 99, B, 100, C, 101, or D, 98? A, 99. In the parable of the wedding feast, what does the king do to the man who is not wearing wedding clothes? A, he welcomes him to the feast. B, he ignores him. C, he had him thrown out. Or D, he gave him a new outfit. Mm, sorry, sorry. In the parable of the wedding feast, what does the king do to the man who is not wearing wedding clothes? A, he welcomes him to the feast. B, he ignores him. C, he had him thrown out. Or D, he gives him a new outfit. C, he had him thrown out. In the parable of the rich fool, what did the rich man decide to do with all his crops and goods? A, sell them at market, B, share them with the poor, C, build bigger barns to store them, or D, give them as offerings to the temple. C, build bigger barns to store them. In the parable of the two builders, what did the wise builder build his house on? A, rock, B, sand, C, mulch, or D, near the river?
A. Rock. In the parable of the two builders, what did the foolish builder build his house on? A. Rock. B. Sand. C. Mulch. Or D. Near the river. B. Sand. In the parable of the unforgiving servant, how much did this first servant owe his master? A. 10,000 talents. B. 1,000 talents. C. 100 talents. Or D. 50 talents. A. 10,000 talents. In the parable of the mustard seed, what does the mustard seed grow into? A. A tall tree. B. A small shrub. C. A vegetable plant. Or D. A fruit tree. A. A tall tree. In the parable of the hidden treasure, where was the treasure hidden? A. In a field. B. In a cave. C. In a river. Or D. In a tree. A. In a field. In the parable of the prodigal son, What did the younger son ask for from his father? A. His share of the inheritance. B. A new house. C. A job in his father's business. Or D. A horse and carriage. A. His share of the inheritance. In the parable of the ten virgins, how many of them were wise? A, five, B, six, C, seven, or D, eight? A, five. In the parable of the talents, What did the servant who received one talent do with it? A, he invested it and earned more. B, he buried it in the ground. C, he gave it away to the poor. D, he used it to buy a new house. B, he buried it in the ground. In the parable of the workers in the vineyard, who did the landowner pay first? A, the workers who started last. B, the workers who started first. C, the workers who worked the longest hours. Or D, the workers who worked the shortest hours. D, the workers who work the shortest hours. In the parable of the unjust judge, why did the judge finally grant the widow's request? A, because he feared the widow. B, he was compassionate. C, because he wanted to do what was right. D, because the widow kept bothering him. D, because the widow kept bothering him. In the parable of a great banquet, who was invited to the banquet after the original guests declined the invitation? A, the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. B, the wealthy and powerful. C, the friends and family of the host. Or D, the servants who worked for the host.
A. The poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. In the parable of the sower, what did the seeds that fell on good soil produce? A. Weeds and thorns. B. No fruit or crops. C. A small harvest. Or D. A great harvest. D. A great harvest.